shameful, disgraceful, treasonous. Three of the descriptions of what President Trump did today in Helsinki. His best opportunity to say, I denounce you and don't do it again. Given that golden opportunity, he let it pass. You have been watching perhaps one of the most disgraceful performances by an American president. When he had a chance right there in front of us, right there in front of the world, to confront Vladimir Putin and tell him to stay the hell out of American democracy, and he just didn't do it. Putin seemed to be playing games right from the start, arriving for the meeting one hour late. He drove in his new limousine, the Cortez, built to rival Trump's beast. They look almost identical, but Putin reportedly had his built just a little bigger. Here's the moment the two leaders came face to face. They exchanged a warm handshake. First Lady Melania looked radiant in a yellow coat dress with a butterfly buckle. As they faced the world's media, President Trump winked at the Russian strongman. Yep, he winked. Body language expert Tanya Ryman says Trump made every effort to be the boss. As they sit down, Trump automatically offers him a seat as if it's his job to offer the seat and then winks. And that is, again, one signal that determines, hey, I'm the one in power and you're the submissive one. So Trump automatically tried to take possession of this entire interview early on. The day was filled with high drama. An American reporter working for The Nation magazine was forcibly evicted after he was spotted holding a sign that read, Nuclear Weapon Ban Treaty. The only moment of levity came when Putin handed Trump a soccer ball. That will go to my son, Baron. We have no question. In fact, Melania, here you go. Here the you president go. tossed it to the first lady, sitting there in the front row. Not long after, Trump and his advisors boarded Air Force One for the flight home and what is sure to be a firestorm.